Construction on the way to Northern Virginia, but this time it promises to be the tallest building in the region. It's set to go up in Tyson's, and look, we know traffic is already terrible out there. So could this make it any worse? Fox Vice Tisha Lewis live tonight with the story. Hey, Tisha. Hi there, Jim. You know what? The short answer is yes. Traffic, businesses, including the one behind me, and much more will be impacted by what's being described as the tallest building in the area. Taller than the building to my right, which is an apartment complex. Taller, we're told, than the Washington Monument. And it'll be right here in Fairfax County. Since the metro starts, we see those. Haney Gerges is preparing to close Mina Design Gallery in the coming weeks. Everything must go. This location now we get the final notice. The building will be demolished, and high rise, the tallest building, will be the highest building in the region is coming in our location. The building is being destroyed next month to help make way for this billion dollar plus development that includes a 600 foot tall arts and entertainment themed building with residential living, business offices, and a 47,000 square foot performing arts center with two theaters. You know, Tyson Corner completely changing. We got a short notice, almost month and a half. We'll have to be out by the end of June. We believe in the idea of that you work, live, and play in the same place. Uh, so as, as, the, as Tyson's grows and as residential becomes available at Tyson's, you'll see an easing up on, uh, on all of that. An ease on traffic. When the borough is finished, you'll start to see traffic going down. That's what developer Costantino Daniel Clemente insists. His company is behind the View at Tyson's project. This building will be the tallest structure between, if I get this right, uh, between um, Philadelphia and Charlotte, North Carolina. All of this happening right here near this metro station in Tyson's Corner. We're told before this construction, 12,000 residents live here in Tyson's Corner, 100,000 work here. Now those folks will have a place to live. The county says the developer is amending their application, and once they get that amended application, they can provide additional information on the impact.